Let's see. Do you have anything for us this morning, Phil? Uh, not a lot today, but uh, did uh, number one just wanted to again uh, thank uh, Joe for uh, providing a community gathering, and um, I was uh, driving back from uh, uh, Olympic National Park this weekend on Sunday, and was on Old Gardner Road, and saw the uh, Clallam uh, vehicle uh, heading back. So we passed each other. So tip my hat. Out. So that was great that you did that. Um, on WSU, you mentioned both um, the 4-H and also Matthew Gardner's. Both of those activities, which are important for our community, happen under the umbrella of uh, Jefferson County Cooperative Extension. <coughs> and uh, I had the opportunity last week, uh, along with Catherine Burrill, who's our extension agent, uh, to meet with the Western Regional uh, manager for uh, Cooperative Extension, just to talk about um, the importance uh, of uh, WSU Cooperative Extension here in Jefferson County, and to just dialogue about continuing commitment by WSU to our community and, and continuing to <coughs> provide staffing. It's a, it's a joint arrangement where um, three or four positions are funded through WSU. Uh, two positions, uh, support positions, are funded largely out of uh, Jefferson County. And so really, the combined, plus a heck of a lot of grant money that WSU Cooperative Extension has been very talented in securing, um, makes the whole thing go. And so keeping that partnership between the county and WSU going, um, to have the whole thing function <coughs> and continue to provide master gardeners, beach walkers, 4-H, and so many other things, beach watchers rather, um, is important. So um, just continue to dialogue with WSU. And so far, even with the state's uh, funding problems, you know, they can never make firm commitments for the long run because you know, we all are in a reactive mode with state and local budgets. But um, at least so far, that uh, commitment continues to hold. Right, despite their cuts, yeah, they're uh, really protecting uh, the uh, local extension <coughs> offices. So that, that was good to hear. So we appreciate that. You know, continue to work to encourage them to keep it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this has fingers throughout the whole community. I think how uh, you know 4-H provides uh, you know, insurance and uh, and and staff support really uh, for so many other organizations. Uh, you know, Pam's is really great. And Team Jefferson is also coordinated out of that office. Right. Those are economic development work. So, yeah. Great. That's about it.